Hi guys, this is Taro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own shopping list app in MIT App Inventor. So here we go. First, we need to click on start new project and here shopping list app. Click on OK. That's my project name. It means app name. Now, now we need to drag and drop one layout here. Go to the layout and you will see here vertical arrangement. Drag and drop this and make it fill parent and where is also fill parent. Now here I'm going to you can see here align horizontal is center and align vertical is top. Now I'm going to drag and drop one label and change the text my shopping list. Fine. I'm going to change font size around 20 and click on vertical arrangement and make this color to orange background color. Now here I'm going to use one text box, text box here for getting the items. Okay, for adding the items in my list. And one thing we need to use here one layout that is horizontal arrangement. And this one background color is also orange and make it with this fill parent. Don't touch height. Now here we use two buttons for one is for adding items, two for removing item, and third one for clear all items. Now uh, here we just write down the things clear all second remove our first one is add now click on horizontal arrangement and make it center like this now we need here one list also so drag and drop this list item and make it highest fill parent and with this fill parent now we need here one database that is called go to the storage option and you will see here tiny db and we need to drag and drop this and go to the block now whenever someone click on button one it means we are going to rename this add btn okay and go to the block now here whenever someone click on add btn what we will do we have to add the item in our list so first we need to initialize one variable so just type here initialize global and this global name is shopping list that's variable name and here just type create empty list and you will see here and to this like fine now whenever someone click on add button so here we need to type add item to list and you will get this block drag and drop this and we have to add item in a list and which list we have to add we have to get this data in this variable global shopping list and from from the data like which data we have to add in this list so we are going to add text box one dot text it's simple like uh, you will see here text box one dot text like this now we need to show this item in our list okay so we will, what we will do click on list option and here set list view dot item you need here set list view dot item so what we have to display we have to display this so we are going to use get global list but what we have to do we need to remove the text previous text from the text box so what we will do click on text box text box one dot text set and make this text blank so click on text and drag and drop this like fine now we need to store this data in our database okay so we call here click on 
tiny dv and you will see here a store value option drag and drop this and which uh, in which tag we have to store this value so we will create one tag here copy paste this one and we will use here list option like this fine and value to store which value we have to store we have to store this variable this global variable in our list fine now we are going to run this app and let's see how it's work we are using here emulator so that's the black background so i'm going to change this background so go to the list that's the list click on list and you will see here default color background so i'm going to make it orange fine now again go to the section and you will see like so that design is pretty cool right so you can change button color also now i'm going to test this app i'm going to write here apple and click on add and you will see that's the apple here if i'm going to again write some mango and so that's my shopping list i can make here orange fine you will see here click on so you will see the list here right so in the next tutorial it means tomorrow we will learn how to remove the item from the list okay so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video thank you bye bye